Hey guys, Ryan again here with another video. Um, first of all, I would like to say thank you for the feedback with regards to what you would like to see on the channel here. Um, lots of good suggestions for locations and for videos themselves, such as you know making the videos longer, um, things such as um, filming the actual sessions with Echovox, if that's what we're doing and talking about experiences from the past. So these are things that I, I have taken a note here and I will try and put those into place as we work forward. Um, another suggestion that come in was to answer some questions that are on the channel already. There are some videos we have up, um, especially with uh, regards to Echovox, where people have asked certain questions. Now, usually I will try to go and answer them as best I possibly can, but I get so many. I get so many private messages. I get so many comments at times. And then also I have Facebook and I have Twitter and I have my email, which um, a, a lot of requests come into as well. And it's really hard to go through all of them. So sometimes I may try to put out a video um, to see if I can answer some of those questions gained on what I've experienced over um, the, the period of time I've used Echovox or, or investigated the, the paranormal. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I have some questions to the side here. They were just randomly picked. Um, some of them are questions, some of them are more statements. And I will work through them, um, try and answer the best I can. I've not pre-prepared anything. I've got some scribbles, but nothing um, major. Um, so let's have a look and see exactly what we've got here on the computer. And I'll try my best to, to answer them. Please excuse if I do not pronounce your name properly or your username as well. I've tried my very best here. So the first one we've got here is Bijou123G. And they say, you know, for those people who think this app is full of shit, ask the questions inside your head. I did this many times and got many valid responses. I asked them to say my dog's name inside my head and everyone that was there answered me. They have also validated things that are going on around me, like a candle that was lit beside my bed. And I never said a word about the candle. I was just listening. Yes, now, there's many times, and I can't use this on videos for, for various reasons, but there's many times where I'm thinking up what I'm going to ask the Echo Vox at a location, or if I'm taking part in an event, and the answer comes out before I say it. Now, to the skeptics and the cynics, how could you possibly say that? How could I possibly put up a video talking about that? And, you know, they'll just say, yeah, you made it up. You weren't going to ask that. How can we believe you? I mean, they won't even trust what is getting put out as it is without going in and saying it's matrixing or it's um, radio frequencies or all these things. They're just not interested. You know, it's just a debunking exercise. So I can't really use that on videos. But what I will say is this is completely correct. Now, I've seen a few people mention this and I've tried to comment about that. I've had my name shouted out. I've had answers to questions I'm about to ask as well. So, um, yeah, try it for yourself. That's personal testing. And I have done it. Um, obviously, if I do a video, I can't use that. And I do get them and I can't even put them in. Some really good ones. But if I put a really good um, response up there and say, oh, I was asking in my head first or, or I was thinking of the question, um, you know what's going to happen. You know, and not that I'm completely bothered about cynics or trolls or anything like that. They can knock themselves out for all I care. And I'm, I've, got a, I've got a purpose here that's just beyond that. But, um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's true and um, very well spotted. Let's go on to the next one. Chesterette said... Aye, there's the rub. Watch any Huff Paranormal YouTube clip with your eyes closed. And if you hear any meaningful, intelligible responses at all, nine times out of ten you'll see that he heard something entirely different when you watch it again and read the captions. Sorry if I sound bitter or wreck it for anyone. I would give literally anything for it to be legit just to talk to my loved one, my loved one more time uh, or my parents, or my best friend for that matter, all four are gone. Firstly, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. You know, we all lose people, and it's it's a really hard thing. Um, you know, I, I get over that because I've had so much experiences with the paranormal and the afterlife that, um, 
you know, that helps a bit, but it doesn't help completely. Um, so I'm sorry about that. But moving on to, to what you're saying here, yes, everyone hears it differently. We are all attuned to um, accents, you know, our local dialect. And um, we could hear things slightly different. Um, this could go for, for Half Paranormal, when Steve puts up stuff, or any other person for that matter. Now, then it comes down to, to a crucial point. Um, are people fully analysing what they've got? And what I mean by that is, um, I put a headset on, I'm inside Adobe Audition, I've slowed things down, I've played a bit with the pitch, and I make sure that as closely as possible I get that word. Um, if it's borderline, I throw it out. I don't even put it up there. Now, I, I can't speak for other YouTubers. I don't know how they're doing it. I don't know how they're analysing. They'll have their own techniques. But this is what I do. Um, so this is this is as close as I can get it with my ear. Um, many times people correct me on the comments and I listen to everyone's correction. I don't believe I have all the answers. Um, so I will, I will actually be open to that and say, yeah, that's a possibility just to, to expand the topic further. Um, if you're thinking it's just um, randomness and we're making words out of it, I have to disagree because of coherence, because of local dialect, because of information, and because I've done it for so long and because I analyse. So um, some people may, that may happen sometimes, I don't dispute that, but not all the time it, it happens. Um, this is something you just have to go with, with yourself and test fully. Let's have a look at the next one. Chris Brown says, Hey Ryan, I purchased the Echo Vox and I haven't got clear responses yet, but I'm still excited about it. I just wish I could hear more clearly. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Um, yeah, you're doing it right. Keep going. You'll get used to it. You'll get used to listening to these um, these sounds coming in. I'm going to say to you, 90% of the captures I get is on post-session analysis. I have to put it into the, the software. I then have to um, listen to it multiple times. It takes me about an hour to do five minute recording. Seriously, that's how long it takes. Slowing it down, uh, sometimes I reverse it to listen, um, looking at the different pitch, moving it about slightly, um, getting some feedback from friends like Chris Huff, um, and seeing where I can go with it. Um, you have to analyse, even if you use Audacity and just slow it down to listen, or, or any programme for that matter, just Please, you're, you're missing so much if you don't do that. Don't just rely on what you hear live. Um, this plays back into the, the previous question about you know hearing things differently. You might think you've heard something that could be different. You could have something better or have nothing at all. So you must analyse if you possibly can. Uh, or, or just at least pick out the best ones that you've got and share them and leave the rest on file for when you do want to start analysing. I know it's hard to analyse and you just want to get your stuff out there and you just want to hear things live. Um, but you could be missing so much so just do five minute recordings and analyse them and then build from there um, and see how you go but please keep going because it does get better and better once you get used to it let's go on to the next one uh, Daryl Barnett turns around and says what kind of software are you talking about using I'm new to using Echovox and I've been getting lots of results but want to learn and hear more thanks Okay, I use um, Adobe Audition. I've got Adobe Audition, I think, 6 now. Um, I did start off with, with number 2, which is free online for everyone. Legally free online. Um, it takes a little while to go over it. I do have a video where I show you how to analyse. Um, you could use Audacity, which is a free program as well. And, um, yeah, you really want to put it into the software. My main one is slow it down. If nothing else, slow it down and listen. Um... If you want to take it further from that, because it's really hard to pick up a word within a phrase, play with the pitch slightly until you get to a comfortable level. Um, these sounds, when, when when coherently put together, don't always come through perfect. You know, sometimes they do, but they don't always come through perfect. And just by tweaking a few things on analysis, you may find that rather than just have one word, which could be random, you may have a phrase coming in. And that phrase could be very relevant to you or to the location at the same time. So, try it out. Um, the next one, Edward Gilmore. He says, Mr. O'Neill, if you're not scanning frequencies and not doing live recording, explain how you're picking up the spirit world. Okay, um, this was a, a bigger set of questions, I think, from Edward. And thank you for leaving your comments. Um, 
I'm not scanning radio frequencies. Radio frequencies do not come through Echovox. Um, this is a thing that a lot of skeptics and cynics are coming forward and saying, and this is when I know exactly that they've not used the software or they don't understand it fully, or they've used it once or twice. Um, what you've got to do is you've got to use something to test over a period of time. I promised myself I would give it two years. It's a long time, but two years before I would um, discard it. I, I maybe wouldn't have went so far into it if my first um, feedback from Duff Castle wasn't so good. So um, that, that gave me, you know, the videos are there, you could go back and watch. It's not scanning, it's using phonemes, the building box, blocks of life. Um, building blocks of life, the building blocks of sound, sorry. Um, and it's making words from that. Now, how does spirit do it? How are you picking up spirit world? Who knows? There's a lot of mysteries you don't know. And I don't pretend to know everything. I can only go with what feedback I get. And the feedback that I'm getting is coherent, it's relevant, it's got accents, it's dialect, local slang. Um, it doesn't even, it isn't even made in my country. The the sound phonemes aren't even from here. So um, how, how does spirit rearrange them? I'm not really sure, but go onto my website, and I think you've, you've possibly been on there, but go onto the website and look at my working hypothesis. Look at the suggestions I put forward because it's outside the scope of this video. To answer that, it's, it's very complex. It's taken a long time, um, so you have to really go and look at that. They are recorded live, and they're not live put out to the net, but they're recorded live in the sense uh, I do a live session. They're recorded onto the device that I've got there. Then they're analysed. Everything is analysed. I'm not just cherry picking and putting out audio or anything like that. These are thoroughly analysed. Um, I've always worked that way. I've been in the paranormal community for over 10 years now. And I've always done my research very serious. Um, so yeah, that, that's what it's doing. So not scanning frequencies, not radio frequencies. But also you've got sound frequencies going on here. The rearrangement, sound. If you look at what Tesla said when he said, if you want to understand the secrets of the universe, he says you'll find it within energy, vibration, frequency. And I think this is what's going on here. How does it do it? How, how do non-physical entities um, impact on non-physical frequencies to impact onto the physical where we can hear them and, and talk like this about them? I don't know, but it's a mysterious universe. So we'll go further into that, but please check my working hypothesis and um, see what you think and um, please rip it apart. I, I would be grateful. I'm always open to learning. So thank you for your question. The next one, Jason Brady. Uh, I'm on my phone, so don't have a link saved, but someone has cracked the API or whatever it's called and read the source code. And unfortunately, it does take snippets from radio frequencies and loops and delays. I was so angry and disappointed when I learned, learned of this. The source code is up on something called, is it GitHub or GitHub Hub or something like that. I can't understand it, but a lot of people that do all agree. It's sad to say the person trolling seems to be the maker. Feel like such a fool and friends who seem to believe work too. Now give me an off now give me an awful time. I'm thinking of getting in touch with other people who have bought this to see if they'd be interested in joining together to sue. Would you be interested? Okay, no, I wouldn't be interested in suing anyone, even if it, if it was a fake. You know that just isn't going to happen. Um, but Jason, um, first of all, the first line of what you said there when you said um, it's taken radio frequencies, no, it isn't. I don't know who's told you this. I don't know who you're reading. Is it a, a cynical website? Is it a debunking website? Is it somebody with, with uh, you know, who can't change their belief systems? Are locked into, you know, physicality only, and there's no such thing as non-physical. I, I really don't know. I can't answer all those things. But what I can answer is, it's not radio frequencies. So that's a flaw straight away. I know this for an absolute fact that it's not. Um, it's sound banks which have snippets of phonemes in there, which is randomly playing through and producing what it shouldn't do, but producing clear words, um, which happen to be coherent and relevant to the location. So um, it's not radio frequencies, I wouldn't listen to who, the site you've been on to, it, it's false right away, and right away with that I can tell that they do not understand the application. So yeah, um, as for your bad experience, I mean you would have to speak to, to the, the, the creator of the software about that. 
your experience is different from mine, but that's fine. You know, it's a big universe. We've all got different experiences. Um, I've done extensive testing. Um, I'm not here to con anyone. I don't make any money. I don't make money from Echovox or anything like this. I'm just a researcher. And um, so, yeah, I wouldn't listen to that website. Um, there's plenty of cynics and skeptics and what have you that's ripped this thing apart and can't find any embedded words or anything there. Um, you, you just have to do your own testing. You just have to really stick at it. Build your own working hypothesis, share the results so that we can see what's going on and um, yeah, and take it forward. We want the truth in the end, we want the truth. Um, Jonathan Wood, who, who I know very well, says, Hey Ryan, I'm a sceptical guy and all. I've been messing around with Echovox in airplane mode and a Faraday cage and I can't explain what's going on with some of these unbelievable responses. You know me, I'm a pretty hard sceptic. Yeah, John is a pretty hard sceptic. Nobody's going to feel him. No one's going to feel Jonathan Wood at all. And I've known him for a lot of years. And um, he's a very credible guy. So he, I'm with him 100% on that. He knows I'm with him on that. Um, we haven't collaborated about this really. Uh, we'll have in the past about other things. So it's not as if we're just backing each other up here or anything like that. He's got his own mind, trust me. So um, if Jonathan says there's something going on, you better listen because it, it, he's a good guy. I agree completely with what he's saying here. I've done so much different testing. And um, this is why I'm comfortable about putting out the material. Listen, if it was a fake and I wasn't comfortable, you think I'm going to put my reputation on the line by putting it out there. For what? You know, I'm happy doing location shots. I'm happy uh, doing the TV stuff that I do and radio and articles and, and all this kind of stuff. And I have for a long time. And I'm not going to start, um, you know, making myself look silly. And I'm not going to waste my time, most of all. And I'm certainly not going to waste the viewer's time who come here to watch the videos and subscribe to the channel and visit the website too. So um, thanks, John. And we've got, I think that's KOKO45, Ko sorry. Um, this app only spits out sounds of letters and gibberish, no words ever. I wish I could get my money back, no matter how fast or slow, which really, which really does not exist, it sounds bad. Example, anybody here? The Equivox Y, she, O, A, he, he, she, po, her. No matter the settings, it spits out bullshit. Okay, number one, you've not analysed your audio. You've not put it into a software to pull out words. I could tell that straight away. Um, and then you would have known that you could slow it down. Yes, there is positions within that you could slow down as well. You slow down the frequency that they're coming in at. Um, if you think there's no words coming through, just check all my previous videos. I've got hundreds of them. Um, when you get words like Glasgow in a Glaswegian accent coming through, um, when you get words like dafty, which is a local Scottish word for an idiot, um, I can tell you there's words coming through, but more so, more so, when you get captures such as cat full of piss, a full phrase, what's going on there then, if it's just giving you these? Um, so I have to say, test it more, keep doing the work, keep um, analysing your stuff as well, and don't give up so easy. Don't give up so easy and call out that it's bullshit. You have to put work in. You only get out of life what you put into it. So, um, yeah. Throw me a message and I'll see if I can help you, but um, you, sh you should give it more testing. Um, we've got um, Peter Zale Zalewski. Um, I'd like to see from you your personal opinion about the application I'm not using yet. Okay. Um, I've done a lot of videos on it just now. Um, I was really sceptical to start with. I thought it was fake. Um, after some of the captures I've got and working on various locations with various researchers as well and um, collaborating with other people um, there's something going on we're capturing voices we don't know how we're capturing voices but they're coming through they're coherent I've said it more time and time again over this video um, so my personal opinion is yes to use it as a tool um, should you rely just on it? no you know use your other tools as well a box of tools is excellent to see what's going on um, dedicate five minutes on location to it and, and then use the rest of the time with, with other videos, uh, with other um, experiments, sorry. Um, and then put the stuff out there on video. So, um, it works. You know, you have to test it. You may not even like it. You may prefer a spirit box. You may prefer just doing EVP work with a, with a recorder. Um, you may prefer just picking out audio through your video. You may want to do none of that at all. Um, you may prefer a more um, scientific approach. Um, to lock the location down, you may prefer a more mediumistic approach. Um, it really is just down to what you want to do. I like them all. I like a full array of um, different approaches, and that's what I do. So, good luck. 
Simon James um, says, You, sir, are an asset to discovery and investigation. I applaud you for taking the time out of your life to have to justify your findings against the trolls you so speak of. May I take your place in future and dismiss your troll that you may continue your work unhindered by such atro atrocious, vindictive and clearly jealous persons. Peace and light to my friend. To you, my friend. Um, yeah, you know, haters going to hate, trollers going to come, cynics are always going to be cynics. Um, all I've got to say is the true meaning of sceptic is to be in a, a centre position and to move flexible with um, information that comes in. Uh, a, a true sceptic isn't somebody that sits there and just debunks. I don't know where this new meaning to the word has come from. Usually if people are sitting in a pseudo-sceptical um, position, it means that they're just there to debunk and they've got a belief system. And that belief system is materialistic, reductionist mindset. Um, they're just there to debunk it. They'll tell you to go and try and win James Randi prizes, which is also bullshit. May I add? I'll go into in the future. Um, they're just there. Uh, James Randi and these are just making money. You know, they say they're, they're trying to stop people um, profiting off the gullible. Um, but James Randi, the illusionist, is profiting off the gullible at the same time by selling his books. And he's a magician. He's an illusionist. He's pulling the wool over a lot of eyes as well. Um, but going back to it, trolls, I'm going to, everybody's going to get, I'm going to get trolls. I don't mind at all. If people want to engage them um, and, and have a debate, excellent. You can go for that. Um, usually I don't answer trolls back unless they're attacking anyone or, um, or, or such on the channel. I'll just ban them off or, you know, um, try and get them removed off there or the comment. Um, but yeah, it's open. I, I like loads of opinions. Um, but you're always going to get trolls and you're always going to get cynics and people who think they know better than others. Um, the wise man knows that he does not know everything. And that's the approach that I come from. We're here to explore and learn. And I always want to be in that position. Because once you stop that, you're no longer learning. What's the point? Really, what is the point? So, um, so yeah. Thanks, Simon. Um, knock yourself out with them. Um... Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop it there because um, this video is getting very long. I think we're at 20 minutes. So um, that is just a, a, a small selection of questions that they are just plucked from one of the videos. Um, I will try and grab some questions in the future and do more on the Echo Vox. I'll also try to update more um, setting videos and to... Obviously, I'm going to put out more location shots and um, do some sessions with you. Um, we can look at possible live sessions, I suppose, um, take you to a location and let you feel the atmosphere over video and you could ask the question and we could put it forward to the, to the Echo Vox. So much things that I could possibly do here. Um, but for the meantime, I will leave it there. Thank you for your support. And if you've not subscribed already, please do subscribe. Um, comment and uh, like it or dislike, whatever your preference, and um, share it and get the word out. Get the word out for Echovox and for ITC and EVP and um, and for Scotland and, you know, the locations we have. And, um, yeah, I look forward to speaking to everyone more soon. So, speak to you the next time. Bye for now.